hello Taurus welcome back to my channel we're doing your next 48 this is episode May 20 and 21 for Taurus Sun Moon rising and North node if you guys are interested in reading learning how to read tarot or astrology those classes are available for you on patreon now um, if you guys want to get a personalized reading you know what to do check that description box everything you need is there what you see is what you get so let's see what the important messages are for my Taurus Sun Moon rising and North node what are the important Important messages for Taurus, please and thank you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What are the important messages? Please and thank you. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna fix my curtains so you guys can see better. All right, let's see. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, please and thank you. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords coming out. We have the Seven of Swords, a lot of thoughts, a lot of air energy here, and we have the Four of Cups. So basically, you're tired of somebody lying. Somebody, I, I'm getting like somebody lies just for the sake to be lying. You're somebody, somebody makes up, somebody picks with you, they pick fights with you, they argue with you, they say mean, cruel things to you. Okay, they, they just lie to you. It's almost like when you, when, you, when you try to approach somebody about lying, it's like they do this in order to avoid this. Okay, what's the Seven of Swords? I'm also getting to you. You just lied to someone to keep from arguing with them, but it's like the same old shit. Okay, what's the Seven of Swords? What's the Seven of Swords? Okay, we have the Two of Wands, the Page of Wands. So it looks like it looks like you're dating someone, you're getting to know someone, you're, you're trying to get to the bottom of a situation, but somebody just refuses to tell the truth. I'm getting it's about a post that you made online or something that's online, social media related, and you're asking someone about this and someone's just flat out lying to you about it, lying to your face. And you know they're lying because you've seen it already. You've already seen the evidence, but you just want you just want them to tell you the truth. You want to you wanna get clarity on the situation, but it's like, yeah, I know you're going to lie about it. So I'm, you may not even ask this person because you know they're going to lie. They're just a liar. Okay, what's the five of swords, please? What's the five of swords energy? Five of swords. Yeah, the hangman. Yeah, so it's like you're, you're seeing, you could argue, you could fight, you could be very passive aggressive. You could be a spiteful person, but it's like, do I, is it really worth it? No. You're just going to lie anyways. If we argue, it's, you're, just, you're just a liar. I don't, don't want to argue with you. You're just, you're just going to lie about everything. You're a liar. You want to fight. You want to be spiteful. You, you want this. So it's almost like you ignore it. It's like, some, it's like somebody wants a fight. Somebody wants a reason to win. And you're seeing that. It's like you're such a loser. You have to pick a fight to, just to win that. And we have the death card. Now, this could be, this could be changing for you. Or your, your emotions towards this person is changing. You're, you're having a change of heart. You're realizing that somebody is just a loser five of swords this is like you really i mean this is the five of swords is like somebody will say whatever needs to be said to, to, to win an argument they'll talk about your dead granny they'll talk about you having age you having you know you having an abortion they'll say they'll, they're very cutthroat very cruel statements with the five of swords just just in the, in the heat of the argument that you want to win i don't care what i have to say to you and I'm, I'm, I'm getting somebody is avoiding in order to avoid a conversation or avoid uh giving you clarity about a lie they want to they want to fight with you and call you names and be cruel to you because they're they're hiding something from you but you already know what's up you already know what they're doing they're trying to avoid the truth they're trying to they're trying to avoid confrontation they're trying to avoid explaining what the hell this is okay what's the four of swords yeah, so it's 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 an it's an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and so it's the same old earth sign. It could be with their mother as well. It's the same old shit you always deal with. And this person just they're just not going to stop. They just somebody feels like when they do this, they they it, it went, they, they they like doing it. The Five of Swords is that he's enjoying this. He's enjoying winning. He's enjoying how he won. He doesn't care what he had to do to win, but he's enjoying it. Okay, but it's almost like you're over it. You don't even care anymore. What's the Hangman? What is the Hangman? It's like somebody enjoys rubbing something in your face, but you're just like, dude, I don't care. What's the what's the hangman? Like you're petty. I don't even give a fuck. What's the what's the hangman, please? Yeah, the ace of pentacles. 
Yeah, so it's it's almost like so you you have a new relationship with this person. It could be an earth sign, but it's like you're always it's like they have they could be dealing with them at their ex still, and you always have to deal with that shit. They're always talking about their ex, or they're on their ex's page, or their ex is commenting, or this could be another person outside the relationship. This new friend that they have, it's like why is this person always in the mix? This person, why are we always arguing about this person? Why am I always asking about this person? Why are you always lying about this person? Like what's the like? I'm I'm getting like the same old shit. That somebody some somebody constantly hides their relationship with this person, or you know who this person truly is to them, how they feel about them. All right, and I'm getting your, your you keep having to deal with the same old shit, and it's a social media related. What's the Ace of Pentacles? But I'm getting you're gonna you're gonna see your way out of this with the Ace of Pentacles. It is your dragon's head. You're realizing that this is a lesson. It, maybe it wasn't meant to go long term, but you're realizing, oh, this is a lesson. This is a part of my North Node energy. This person was meant to teach me something. Maybe teach you about lying. Maybe teach you about spite. But there's something in this that has a lot to do that's significant to your North Node energy. And that's this is what you're realizing. This person is actually teaching you, um, you know, through cruelty. Is, I mean, sorry to say that, but it's like there's something you're meant to learn behind this about being cruel, about being about lying, about saying this, about dealing with the same old bullshit. Okay, it could be your own mother. What's the Ace of Pentacles? What is the Ace of Pentacles, please? Okay, the okay, the Four of Swords. Yeah, so you're calm and cool and collected. So it's almost like, yeah, somebody has a tendency to argue with you. They have a tendency to try to make you jealous or try to make you feel less than or you, you just don't care. You're like, you know what? You know, do you, you win, I don't care. It's it's almost like now you understand, now you know, now you know the behavior, you know how to deal with it. What's the four of swords? You're not gonna give it your energy, it's not worth it. You don't care. Okay, I'm, I'm getting somebody who's obviously very insecure. What's the Four of Swords? Yeah, the, yeah. I'm getting too, like somebody is sexually frustrated. Somebody wants sex from you. You're not giving it up. And so they can say something very hurtful towards you. Or somebody could be threatening to leave you. You're like, man, go ahead and leave. I'm, I'm cool. Go ahead, and do, do, go ahead and do what you're going to do. What's the Queen of Pentacles? What's the Queen of Pentacles? I'm also getting two, you're sitting here sleeping or resting and all of a sudden somebody comes in the room and starts bothering you or starts talking to you, you're literally sleep. And somebody comes in and just starts bothering you or talking to you or just nagging you or antagonizing you for no fucking reason. For no reason. And, I, and I'm getting it's about a social media thing that's going on, but you're, kinda, you're just kind of sitting here minding your own business and somebody comes in and starts bothering you. And like um, somebody could even have a weapon in their hand. Like somebody, somebody doesn't want to let you have peace of mind. Somebody does not want to let you rest because they want to win an argument. They feel like you lied to them. They feel like you're a liar. You lied to me. I want to talk about this now. You're not going to sleep. You're not going to rest. I want to talk about this. I want to argue now. Okay, what's the four of swords? And I'm getting you just like, man, I don't care. I don't know what you're talking about. What's the four of swords? The four of swords energy. Four of swords. Yeah, the higher fine. Yeah, somebody wants to talk about the relationship. I'm getting you want to let the relationship go, but they want to talk about it. They want to talk it out. Can we please try this again? Can we be together? I want to make it right. I'm sorry again. You know, the same old sorry, Four of Cups. You're like, you know what, man? I'm cool in this relationship shit. I'm cool. You lied too much. You're too spiteful. You're hurtful. I'm tired of dealing with it. What's, what, is the, what is the Seven of Swords? What's the lie about? What's the Seven of Swords? And I'm, I'm getting, it, it keeps happening just that way. Somebody gets into an argument, they argue with you, they hurt you. You go off to, you, you go off to, to calm down. They come and they bother you. They want to make it work. It's like, but it keeps happening. They keep doing, they keep tearing down your character every time and then trying to make up for it later or trying to have sex with you later or trying to romance you later. What's the four of cups? But I'm getting every time it happens, they're tearing down your character anyway. So even though they say sorry to you, they're still tearing you down. What's the four of cups? What's the four of cups? Yeah, the magician. Yeah, the same old shit. The same old action, same old behavior. Okay, we do have the sun card under there. So I'm getting, it's almost like if you kill somebody with kindness, you're happy in the end. Okay, because you have, you have the gift of manifestation. You kind of, I'm getting you've used magic. You're going to use magic to get yourself out of this. I'm getting you've already used magic. Okay, what, one more card. One more card, please. One more card. Yeah, so we have well, three more. We have the full card, the world card, and the five of pentacles. So it looks like something is gonna definitely gonna come to an end. You took a risk on something. It's almost like you tried something out. You tried somebody out, or you tried something out, maybe a new endeavor, a person, a relationship. That's gonna come to an end. You tried your luck, you shot, you, you know, you you you, you um, what is it what they call it? You you shot, you shoot your shot, you took your shot. Okay, you tried it out, it's not working. You're not getting what you need here. 
okay? It's not a balanced relationship, okay? So it's time for things to change, all right? So I'm gonna leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.